And why would they lie? Why would they lie? Why would they lie? Why would they lie? Why? 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 This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. Go, go. Why you lie about the shape of the earth? It just seems irrelevant. But imagine if you are a real forward thinking psychopath and you want to create a new world view for your subjects. Where do you start? What's the first big lie that you have to tell everyone so that you can totally control their world view and become their authority, their authority figure, because you know things that they don't know that they can't access about reality um, that you've figured out and it's been established um, and they just have to trust you now. Well, obviously, cosmology, the earth and everything beyond us, you know, in the sky, above and below. So if you're going to fashion a worldview for your subjects beneath you, and the whole point is to lie to them so that you can gain control over them, the first, the biggest, the most fundamental foundational lie you need to tell is this one. People have just been under the spell for so long that they can't even see why would you lie about this thing, the shape of the earth, that seems so irrelevant. It's not, it's incredibly relevant. If you're right. going to, so imagine if you um, took somebody captive since childhood, put them in a box, and all they knew was whatever you told them um, from their box. They'd never get outside, know anything about the outside world. You get to feed them all information about what's outside the box. Well, that's literally what is happening to us, like you said, with the Antarctic Treaty, with NASA telling us what is uh, out in outer space above us. Oh, it's millions and billions and trillions of miles. Oh, okay. And so then we get in our imaginations like they are making us do, rather than be physical explorers like we can and should do. And then we'd actually find answers. But we don't have that kind of thinking because we've been given these pseudo answers and placated and thinking we know things that we don't know. And so that is what the controllers have doing and why they're doing it is because this fundamentally makes you think you know things that you don't know. So then you grow this ego inside of yeah. you and you start defending the people that lied to you because they are the purveyors and explorers who found out all this knowledge that you just believe because you haven't actually figured it out for yourself. And when a flat earther comes around and is skeptical, you just think, how could you possibly be skeptical about yeah. something yeah. that has been like, so established? And you only think it's been established because so many people have believed it for so long. And there are many pseudo explanations that are offered over and over again that people have believed for so long. If you delve into it deeper than that, that's when you get to the meat of it but most people are satisfied by that surface level stuff. And so you can't really break through to it. And they'll just give you questions like, but why would they lie about the shape of the earth as a defense mechanism, more so than an actual question? They don't really want to know the answer. They're asking you the question because they think it's a way to shut you up because it's such a ridiculous, whatever you yeah. say, however you answer that, it's, it's going to be ridiculous to them <laughs> oh, to control us. <laughs> for money, <laughs> uh, whatever you say, you know, they'll scoff at it. And of course, the question is kind of like a setup too, because how could you know why someone else is lying? You're not the liar, ask them. Why would you, why would you right. ask me? So the whole question, uh, in essence, you're asking the wrong person anyway, and so you can't answer it to their satisfaction. It's kind of a trap.